As Winfield Scott moved closer to the heart of Mexico City, another obstacle appeared. Santa Ana had turned Churubusco, a Catholic convent, into a fortification. It was manned by a small force of a few hundred. But many were not Mexican. They were Irish and had become known as St. Patrick's Brigade, the San Patricios. The San Patricio Brigade were deserters from the American army. Some of them were Irish Catholics. I think their motives are um, at best obscure. Some of them may have, may have been offended by the anti-Catholicism they saw in the ranks of the US Army. But I think a more compelling argument is that they were deserters who were promised land bounties for their service in the Mexican Army, were not very happy with their lot in the armies of Taylor and Scott, and simply decided to take advantage of that. At Churubusco, the San Patricios fought with a sense of desperation. When other Mexican troops would try to surrender, raise a white flag, the members of the San Patricio would go over and tear it down and continue fighting. And they knew that if they were captured, because they were American deserters, that they faced stiff punishment. So that's why they put up such a hard resistance. They didn't want to be captured. Their lives were in risk if the Americans win. They were, from the American point of view, deserters that deserved the death penalty for their desertion. Despite the valiant efforts of the San Patricios, they and the Mexicans were forced to surrender when they ran out of ammunition. Winfield Scott, who was pretty much a by-the-book general, reviewed the cases of the San Patricio men, and he divided them into two categories, and this is based on U.S. regulations. Those who had deserted before official hostilities had been declared were to be branded and then driven out of the service. And those who had deserted after hostilities were to be executed. Although he wasn't present for the battles in Mexico City, soldier and artist Samuel Chamberlain sketched his vision of the hangings of the San Patricios. 